Yo, what's up YouTube? So, you're gonna be going around Womp's Fortress with a cork box, and I'm gonna collect 100 coins. Uh, so the reason I did this was I heard someone just mention the challenge of getting the 8 red coin star while holding the cork box, which was a pretty fun little challenge. Didn't take me too long, but yeah, there are a couple of tricky jumps. And so right away I thought, well, can I get hundreds? And I ran around the level without the cork box, trying to route it. And unfortunately, you do need the ring of eight coins above the blue switch. So that was kind of tricky to get to. Um, but as you can see, we're just continuing around and grabbing coins. There's nothing too crazy going on, apart from Mario somehow not taking a hit there. Pretty fortunate on the timing with that piranha plant. But uh, we can just go back and grab that coin. I'm going to be coming back up here again because I have to drop down. So I do skip some of the coins. Uh, basically, I want to rush to the ring of eight coins above the blue coin switch. Which was a little tricky to figure out how to get. Um, I kind of tried like the simplest jumps I could think of to get there. And none of them were really working. Then I came up with this. So yeah, basically you just want to get enough speed to kind of land on the slope and then go into a butt slide and just kind of direct Mario between the wall and the pillar. I tried actually doing a slope jump and going between the pillars and I tried from the other side, um, you know, getting some speed up and then just trying to jump and land on the lower platform. It's a bit tough. Uh, the upper part is bigger than the lower part. So there's like a bit of an overhang, and then... I, I don't even know if it's possible to just straight up jump down there. <clears throat> but if it is, it's like really precise, and I couldn't get it soon enough, so I went for that slope jump strat, and it was definitely a lot better. But anyway, we're up in this section for the second time. And the routing actually works out pretty well, because I want to use the elevators to get to the top section anyway. So, you know, grabbing these coins second time around is fine. I would have had to have come to this general area anyway. I also want to grab uh, 10 coins from these uh, thwomps. Obviously you can't ground pound them with the box, but you can get a single coin every time you just jump on them. So yeah, which is something I actually didn't know about for quite a while, like playing Mario casually. And even in speedruns, you never do that, because uh, the 100 plus red route doesn't come here. I guess if you're doing all coins, a category extension, you would need to do this, obviously. But yeah, that was definitely helpful. Really, <laughs> really glad that Nintendo decided that was a mechanic for Thwomps, because I would be two coins short without them. There's eight coins leeway in my route, I believe. Or at least five coins, so I would have been kind of screwed without that. There's the... That's about the only tough jump for reds by themselves. I was a little nervous about having to do it late in hundreds, but... It's actually not that tight. I didn't do the jump very well, and I did almost miss the island. But that kind of shows you that it's not that tight. My angle and speed weren't perfect, and I was kind of far away from the ledge when I jumped. Um, I played pretty safely at this point, because I just don't want to do this again. <laughs> I believe this was my second attempt, maybe it was my third attempt, but um, all the other attempts basically just died really early because I was trying to rush, and then I just decided to go a little bit safer. Um, you know, it's more of a challenge than a speedrun, though I do have the timer up because I'm doing it in Usamune. And yeah, that jump onto the thwomp with the red coin, also not tight, but defi definitely a little scary because you could uh, start butt sliding and bonk on a wall and break the box or something. Anyway, we're about to wrap it up with this final coin ring. I obviously saved that for last since, you know, nothing can really go wrong there. So try and rush to the harder stuff as soon as possible. And yeah, you drop the box when you grab the 100 coin star and then we go into the red coin star. GG.